In this video, I will demonstrate how to use parametrics to run a set of simulations over a collection of weather files. In this case, I have a folder that contains weather data for Portland, Oregon from 1998 to 2020. This is in a folder called Portland underscore OR. The first step is to add the weather files to my solar resource library. I'll do that on the location and resource page by clicking Add Remove Weather File Folders. Then I'll click Add, navigate to my folder, and select it. When I click OK, the weather files from the folder are now listed in my solar resource library. I originally downloaded these files using the Download Files for All Years option down here. You can use weather files from any source. Next, I'll go to the parametrics page by clicking parametrics under the simulate button. And I'll use quick setup to set up my inputs. So I click quick setup up here, then click add. And I'm gonna add the solar resource library current selection input variable. Then I'll need to edit the variable to choose the weather files that I want. So I can do that by clicking edit here or by double clicking the variable name. And then I'm gonna check each Portland weather file here. So the parametric simulation is gonna run a simulation for each weather file. So the more weather files I choose, the longer the parametric simulations will take. And I'll click OK. And I want to overwrite the table. I'm creating a new parametric table. So now I have a list of all the weather files that I'll use for input. The next step is to choose outputs. And for this, I'll use annual energy. So I can see the annual energy for the different years. Oops. And then I'll also uh, look at the performance ratio. Okay, so I have one input variable and two output variables. Now I'm ready to run the parametric simulation, so I'll click Run Simulations up here at the top of the page. And this will take a moment for the simulations to run. While the simulations are running, any simulation errors will be displayed down here. These are errors regarding the net present value, which is an output of the financial model. I'm not concerned about the financial model outputs for this parametric analysis, so I'll just ignore those. The parametric number here is the run number, which is equivalent to the uh, number in the row headings in the table here. When the simulations finish, the results are displayed here in the table in the green columns. I can click the column headings here to sort the table. I can use the export button here to export the data. The send Excel option is only available in Windows. There are also graphs in the lower part of the window here. And I can right click the graph to export the, an image or the data from the graph to my documents. And then I can also use the column or the row headings here. If I right click the row heading, I can create a new case based on the uh, in parametric inputs. Um, so if this uh, row 11, run 11, has the 2016 weather file. So if I wanted to create a case with that file, I just uh, right click the row heading, click create new case. And that creates a case with the parametric 111 inputs, which is the 2016 weather file. And then I can run a simulation here to see all of the detailed simulation results for that case.